Good evening, everybody. Hope you're all well. Thank you very much for coming over and joining us. Hope you've all had a great weekend. And, well, the weekend's only started. But I hope you're enjoying the bank holiday weekend. So, let's bring the guys in. Oh, bloody stream deck. Oh, no. Let's bring the guys in. Oh, yeah. Bring the guys in, eventually. There we go. What? Ta-da. Ta-da. There they are. Ta-da. <laughs> Brian's a little bit it's delayed just today. One of those days. Brian's coming yeah, on Zoom yeah. tonight, so he's a little bit delayed. Yeah. <laughs> That's the brush. <laughs> right. So anyway, um, as I, as the description says, I'm going to turn a textured bowl with two gouges, a spindle gouge and a bowl gouge, and the texturing tool. That's all I'm going to use. Uh, obviously, we're going to sand it, and we're going to spray some ebonizer lacquer on it. But we're going to do something. So you perhaps see the picture of similar what I was going to do um, in the thumbnail. So uh, the first time I did this piece was at Harrogate last year on the Taylor's Murfield stand. I was lucky enough to demonstrate on Taylor's Murfield. Um, and I did this there. That was the first time I ever did it. Just basically to use the rainbow waxes, something different. So um, we're going to see how, well, these rainbow waxes really did bug the hell out of me. I, I will crack them eventually. But we're going to give them another bash tonight. So I'm going to go over and get set up. Uh, we've got a piece of sycamore. I will measure how big it is. It's about 10 inch, 10, 10 and a half inches by about two. Um, so I will measure that for you, and I think Terry's going to read out the chat. So uh, I'll see yes. you guys on the other side. I'm going to read it at the speed. I'll just lean down again. I'm going to read it at the speed. Evening, everybody. By the way, I'm going to read it at the speed that um, that uh, Jill reads it. So um, I'll start with <laughs> Val was the first in from Taco Turnings, followed by Brian of Hartford Turning and Dara Coolin and cool. Malcolm Douglas and William Kenny. Then there was Paul Finley and Paul Hudson. Then there was Ward Wilson, Todd, Ben Cove Woodworks, Graham Brown, Susie the Swiss Turner, Michelle Oosby has also joined us. Oosby. Followed by Shane Hurst, Rob from Kingsport Abrasives, Roy's the Boys, and Robert Broadwood. And we've got Anne Laurie in as well. Yep. Hello, Anne. How are you? Nice to see you in. And nice to see everybody in. That, well, members of the chat, is... When, when, so when, you say, when you say everybody, do you mean me as well? No, I said you, Brian. I, said I feel you. the love, Terry. I was I trying to love, avoid Terry. that because Brian Woodburn Pulse just joined as well. Brian's uh, Zoom was updating tonight. It was up in. And and until on I Skype now, texted so. him and said, don't forget we're on Skype tonight, not Zoom. <laughs> So, and he appeared. These things help. Never mind. Oh dear. Right. So we we'll get this round first. Welcome, Welcome everybody. Anyway. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh. Oh, I was going to measure it, weren't I? That's what I was going to do. Quickly. You, you, you were going yeah. to tell us how big it was. Yeah. Eight so two. it is. But we don't really care. In eight, in inches, it's ten and a half. Well, ten, oh, ten, and, a half. ten and a quarter by just under two. Then we get around, it'll be, it'll be eight inches. I reckon seven Alan and a half. Alan Gibbs just joined us. Hello, Alan. <laughs> Alan Gibb. Yep. Evening, Alan. Yep. And evening, everybody in chat. All 35, 35 of you who have yeah. well, joined us this lovely, place, sunny yeah. evening. It's a beautiful day. It could well be that quite a few people are still out on their I would think. Friday could be. track. To the seaside or something. Enjoying themselves. The seaside of Newcastle. The stalwarts are still there. Look, they're all in. The stalwarts see, are in. Yeah. I'm here. I'm here. Only just mine, but I'm here. Yeah, well, only yeah, only because, you know, voice and, and all that. And, and cheers, by the way. Oh, cheers, Brian. There. Cooking on gas. All right, so I'm just doing a few share cuts just to face this off. I was being badly abused by a fly earlier. Well, you see that, the way you emptied a whole can of fly spray at it. Oh, it's fly spray. I thought it was deodorant how you were spraying it. No, no. Well, that's what he uses, so it's dumb matter. So, so the, both, little fly, the little fly is now dead on my window ledge, so it's just getting thrown outside now. Out you go. There we go. Good evening, Brian Walker. Evening, Brian. Hi, Brian. How you doing? Come in. What's this? Um, uh, <clears throat> Dara says, Susie, I have instructed her to bring me some uh, chocolate back. Huh? This smells nice. Oh, it smells lovely. Oh, a sycamore. This doesn't have yeah. to track. He lives by the sea. Are you sure a sycamore? Yeah, that's what I said on it. Sycamore. Looks like ash to me. 
Second world doesn't smell very much, does it? Well, it's got no. I'm not talking a massive aroma. Just you know, a hint. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. It might, yeah. Well, whoever put, put the word on what it is may not have known. And that like worked me. <laughs> so I'm going to do a mortis on this. A mortis. Yep, a mortis. Mortis. Why a mortis instead of a gun? Because it's easier. It's easier. It's easier. Easier. So we're just going to cut in. Use the part until just to cut in there for our mortars. Keeping our handle low so we're using it as a cut and not a scraping. I'm going to go in there about three and a half, four millimeters. No, no, this is, is not walnut. walnut. I think Ben might come in. Ben's not in. It'll be walnut when Ben comes. <laughs> so we're just going to. It's white walnut. Greenhaven Creations is in Brian. Good evening, Brian. It's two Brian's. And you, three Brian's. That's another Brian. Chris from Bailey Woodworks is in as well. Oh, or rushed home from the beach. Must have done. Been paddling in the sea, anybody? Anybody get their feet wet today? It might be a bit Graham fresh Hain may have done. He's just come in. Hello, Graham. All right, someone's messaging me. Have no. we got any questions for Stephen? Prefixing with a couple of question marks, not question marks, cues, cues that we know as if they're all yapping and it goes straight on by. We may miss a question. We'd hate to miss a question. Sensible questions, please. Not just stupid questions. <gasps> Dora's sister is visiting Switzerland at the end of this month. Oh, well, I hope she's a lovely sense. trip. Why right, are you not coming to Dora? Right, so I'm going to make a bit of a swoop on this. I'm not going to... Because I want the rim as wide as possible, but I don't want the bowl too big and chunky. A swoop. Swoop. Change the camera so you can see. Well, Roy's the boy said he was turning a bit of wood to test the recording on the OBS, and it was so dusty he had to put the extractor on. Well, you should have had your face shield on as well, if that's the case. Mm. Hello, Jennifer. Jennifer Jennifer's in. Good evening, Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. Jennifer. How are you? Cuts well. <laughs> Rob from Clinchcore nice. says, I live in the south west of the UK, so now we don't go out the door on bank holidays. We know better. Yeah, yeah I know what you mean, a, Rob. It's kind of the same here, Rob. I um, lived there for <laughs> 71 years, Rob. Yes. Just a traffic jam. Bank holidays. I don't anymore. <laughs> Must have missed something there because uh, I've just read a comment from Paul Finley. He says, yep, just just step off the shower. I'm confused by that. Well, southwest, if you live in the southwest, you just step out of the shower and back into the rain. So it's always raining there. Is it? Yeah, a bit like Ireland. Continually rains. The west coast of Ireland. Well, you don't do so bad. No, we're not so bad on the, on the, on the East Coast. Just not quite so bad. Well, at least four times every week you've said it's, it's raining here. Protect, <laughs> particularly uh, particularly oh. where I live, we have a, a range of mountains just south of us, which protects us quite a bit. Uh, south. Uh, oh, oh, it's a nice cap. East of you. So, yeah, west north, of you. West uh, of you. North, 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 east. East. No. Am I? No. West. It's got to be west. Cause Never eat rain shredded comes wheat. West. 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 Yeah. It's westish. Yeah. Westish. Westish. It's westish. <laughs> right. So that's the shape I'm going to go for. So I'm just going to clean that bottom up so we've got a flat. Of an OG. Flat edge on that bottom. Slightly put an undercut on it so it sits on the rim, not actually on the the whole base. I'm liking Mean's that shape. Turners in and a Wayne. He remate. A Wayne. Yep, it was a beautiful day here too, William. Sun shining all day, very, very little wind. And it's actually been warm today. So I'm just going to sand that up. Slowly trundling up and down the grass, cutting uh, nice stripes in my lawn. Well, when I say lawn, I mean four acres. Not my lawn, by the way. 
Rob says a, there was a traffic noose, was a solid dark red line from Bristol to Exeter. That means mm. it's jam packed solid. Yes. It always is. Yep. I'm glad I don't live down there anymore. People are heading for their holidays. Got caravans on the road today as well. There will yeah. be. We went to Clumber Park today, which is a beautiful park up near on the way to Sheffield. Lovely. Mm, lovely. Sun shining, 16 degrees. Is that, you on, is that you on the roof? Affirmative. Affirmative. Lunch there as well. That was lovely. Ah, uh, the roof pay? Fortunately, she did. Ah, uh, see, I knew that. Yeah, miserable old soggy. She loves me. Yeah. You, uh, you must just leave your wallet at home all the time. You're just a miserable old sod. Mm. No. It's just the fact that she's like that. got plenty of money. I'll just yeah. let her pay. She gets better I, I paid than you. I'm, I'm broke. I am. I've spent you're, all my money on my word turning shop. You're just an old, old, old poor pensioner now, aren't you? Or pensioner now. Yeah. Actually, Ruth's a pensioner, but she doesn't get her old age pension yet. Yeah, no. So I'm old a not bailer yet. But a bailer for a year. No, it's not right here. Bailer for a year. <laughs> yeah, Roy the boy says he's not used his touring caravan now for three years. Sell it. Oh, give you 150 quid for it. Take a chance I can get it going. What, a touring caravan? Aye. Won't take a lot of going. You know, you've got to hitch your car to it and pull it away. Mm. <laughs> if, if the yeah, brakes are not seized nice. on. You know, she nice never saw them with the brakes on. You shouldn't. I know. I never store my horse box with the brakes on, but sometimes they jam on, too. Yeah, Brian Walker's been to Clumber as well. Yeah, well, it's just not far from us. It's only about 40 miles away, so it's nice. And I'll take my long telephoto lens with me, 200 to 500 lens. Take some nice pictures of all the birds on the lakes and things. Nice. The birds. Didn't realise they had one of them sort of beaches down there? Yeah. Uh, hmm. Although no I comment. still take pictures of the birds on the no steady on the edge of the lake <laughs> steady no it's not like that it's, it's, only, it's only quarter past seven Terry birds tweet tweet you know that sort of oh feathers feather feathered 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 birds oh, I see a dirty mind like you feathered birds <laughs> you know. Canada geese, swans, that sort of thing, you know. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Right, the boy says his brakes aren't on. You're quite That's right, right. Well, oh, I'll give you 100 quid then. Take a chance I can get it working when I get it on. Well, that wouldn't be any good to me, Roy. I have to well, buy I a want... caravan. Oh, 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 question, question, question. Oh, regarding the cheap uh, rabbit tunnel extent extension tube. Tube, tube, yeah. When grains of dust rub together, can, they can build up a static electric charge. They can, yeah? They can, Susie. can, but through any plastic thing, or even a steel tube. I get a shock of my vacuum cleaner occasionally. I run an earth wire down mine. If you catch it old every, like, ten minutes, you just get a belt through you into the lathe, and it's not a problem. And Todd at Glencoe saying, what camera I got? Uh, I got a Nikon, um, Nikon, Nikon, whatever you want to call it. Uh, D810. I got 70 to 2, 70, is it 28 to 70, 70 to 200, and 200 to 500 Nikon lenses. Professional. I used to be a photographer. There you go. Dylan. But, you know, only for me now, though. Don't have to do it for a living. That's what I got, Todd. Mm hmm. You can get um, how much they cost, but they, you can get metallic tape to tape around it that you can uh, yeah, use as a grounding strip. Susie, or touch it every ten minutes just to keep yeah. you awake. Just to just keep, keep you awake. awake. Oh yeah. yeah. Right, the boy says my car's in the garage, having work done, so we won't get it back until late tomorrow. Oh. You're lucky he's getting done. Uh, damage, uh, Roy. Yeah. What did you do? <laughs> You're lucky. He's lucky he's getting it done at all on Good Friday. Yeah. Did you hit, Roy? What did you hit? <laughs> yeah. Or what? <laughs> uh, if you didn't do it, who did? <laughs> what did the wife hit? 
God says I have Canon equipment. I love my R5 yep. and the 100 That's 500 just... combination. Yeah, my son's got Canon equipment and he's got the, you know, he had all the top of the range Canon equipment as well because he's a lighting drug. <laughs> I just, I just, bought, I just bought a cheap Canon camera. In fact, Nicholas, my son, won um, the, the latest camera, Canon camera, latest being back two years ago, maybe three. So whatever the latest was then, he won it in a competition, like photographic oh. competition to do with the theatre. And oh. he took a photograph, like in 0.5 of a second, somebody's in the right place, he just went click, and it, thrashed the rest of the competition and he won his camera but I don't know grand and ass worth of equipment oh it's very good so he ditched the old Canon camera he had which he liked but I was always using Nikon so you know George gets in and so is Joe Senior gets wife in good evening uh, gets her in hello Roy kids the, yeah, welcome Roy, aboard Roy the boy's car filled his MOT oh Roy oh no Raymond Wise is in good evening Raymond Good evening, the Raymond. Days of putting your feet through the bottom to pedal in the Flintstone era is gone, Roy. Yabba dabba do. Yabba dabba do. Hello, Raymond. Yabba dabba do. And we've got Thank 50 Gordon. people watching. There you are. Welcome, everybody. It's not bad for a good Friday evening. For those of us just joined us, Stephen's got a bit of sycamore on at the lathe at the moment, and he's cr- recreating a bowl that he did at the demo in. In Harrogate, when he was dem- demonstrating on the Taylor Murfield stand, so o- only the people that were there and saw it know what it is. You who didn't will be enlightened. So I'm just going to sand this edge because I don't really want to. I was going to spray the bottom black, but I think I might leave the bottom natural because if not, it'll be too dark with the um, all of it black. So I'm just going to sand this edge. Okay. They do seem expensive, Todd. Every hobby is expensive. I've played blinking golf, or photography. Or, yeah. mm-hmm. fly, every, try fly fishing, mate. Everything you do is expensive. Even, go, even going out for a drive is expensive. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, everything you do. Well, Breathing's well, expensive. Well, <laughs> did fly well, fishing all my life, and I still do, and it's like, you know, £500 for a new rod when you want a new one. So Yeah. yeah it's not that. So you have to pay everywhere you go to to get them. Everywhere you go, you got to pay, yeah. It used to be... Four hundred pound for a license just to fish for trout, and you had to pay for where you were going as well. Then you had to get the rod license from the local authority. That Rob, Rob good. has Rob has just said he's replied to your email, Steve. Okay, Rob, I'll check later. Thank you. Roy's got a broken spring coil, rear oh. brakes, torn gator. So as it's two there, having two new front tires. Well, the front tires is down to you, isn't it? Really, come on. Yeah, absolutely. That's easy. So is it? Yeah. So is it? Doesn't gear. Yeah, but the others is. Uh, yeah. No excuse for that. If you can't bend down to see, then okay, we'll get we'll let you have the rest off. But you can look at the tire. Actually, that much repairs, it might need a new car. Might be cheaper. Is <laughs> it? Is it all complaining about hobbies there? You want to try having the horses, guys? Ah oh, well, I'll learn my life. I thought no, I know we're going to horse. Yeah, but it's a benefit. No it's a benefit with horses, isn't there? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, they eat grass. You get well, free manure. That, and if if any, if you ever get hungry, you can eat them. Oh, <gasps> I can't oh yeah, there's that. Uh, hmm. Turn, turn, turn to get Marcus in just coming then. Good evening, Marcus. Evening. You love fly fishing as well, Paul. You go fly fishing. I've been right. doing it all my life since I was about six. Clean all the stuff off of this. I don't. I don't like it. I find it tediously boring. Well, fished all over the country. All, well, all over England and Scotland and Wales, and I've also fished abroad. So, Brian says, yeah, Brian from Green Heaven Creation says my fishing license is five dollars and twenty-five cents per year $5. for the over sixty-fives. Come on. So I summed it up to Hello, 400 door. grit. Andy's in. Door 60. Oh, Andy. Andy. So I'm now going to seal it with some sand and sealer. And then we will grit it. Uh, good man. Yeah. yeah. Rob, says, um, <clears throat> Rob says the best part, part perk of my job is uh, car gets fixed and I'm not paying for it. <laughs> Wayne Wells yeah, is I, just I, like, I, eat your horse, unsubscribed. <laughs> 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 quite, quite right, Ward. I don't know why Not I'm still word. here. 
I don't know why I'm still here. It's a yours? Thing, you say. Unsubscribed. Big letters. <laughs> <laughs> question is: Is there a, a crack, crack on, on that bow? Says Woodworker. No, no. That line there. No, it's just no. There. That's no, just, just a bit of green. He's just blind. I have to go say something down. I forgot what it was, Terry. Well, it's every two seconds you forget something, don't you? If Rob says, do you tie flies, Terry? Yes, I do. He does. I flies since YouTube... I was about seven. Got... He has a YouTube channel for tying flies. Well, if he hasn't, he's going to have. Oh, we'll have, yeah. Most people have zips nowadays. As soon as my art studio's finished. Art studio's finished. They put zips in these days. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. I used to have a company called too. It was great. You didn't pay for anything. Not even fuel. Even we're turning spy Barry with Hi, Barry. Hi, Barry, how you doing? Good yeah. name, Barry. Oh, there's lots of people in now. Can't believe mm. that. Friday evening. Yeah, they're all getting home from work, from their, uh, what's the name, isn't it? From their day out. They're relaxing now and they think, let's relax get, and find something that's going to yeah, make me fall up. asleep. Ah, we'll watch Steve. Steve. <laughs> <gasps> I agree, because if I can't sleep, I'll put my own video on. Dara Cohen says, I have a lifetime fish and hunting permit for veterans. There well done, go, Dara. Now, see? Get see, on, that's Americans. Do they look after their veterans. Yeah, they do. They do. Uh, you know what you get for being a veteran in, in the British Army? Yeah, you're stuck Nothing. out on the road. Nothing. That's what you get. You get out. Don't you get accommodation? You get absolutely nothing. Your 25 years I've served, you get nothing. So, a second coat. Seriously undervalued as our uh, they are actually. armed forces. I think it's a disgrace too. It is. It's an absolute disgrace. Well, there was an article I was reading a few weeks ago about Chelsea pensioners, where they have like little mm -hmm. local authorities have the Chelsea pensioners, don't they? And uh, there's one guy, um, they was kicking him out because they wanted to knock the place down and build new flats. He had to, for lots of rent, yeah. Binge relaxing after cooking tea. Oh, did you have like fish. Is it, how big is your kitchen that you had to relax after cooking tea? What did you cook fish fingers, Ben? Or was it hey, Raymond's? Raymond Wise, <laughs> fish fingers, fish fingers Same in the me. air fryer. <laughs> I was about six when I started, and I'm the now, so, yeah, about the same time. I fish yeah. Scotland as well, lovely. Spay, the well, I fished loads of them. The River Karen, I fished for some trout, it was nice. Fished up Aviemore as well. Yeah. All right, oh, so fun. a bit of Yorkshire grit. Joe, time to sing. Oh, sorry, Glenn. Sorry, Glenn. <laughs> yeah. Andy Rudolph says, yeah, yeah. Yeah, not yet, not yet. Not <laughs> no, she doesn't need to sing. Uh, Andy Rudolph says, Adam Services means nothing here. And Wayne agrees with me about the lack of. That's just disgusting. It's shocking. Simple. Go fight for your country when you get home. Don't expect anything. Well, yep. yeah. It doesn't really help you get a house or anything. No, nothing. Nothing. Oh, once you once thank you finish, th th thank you for staying <coughs> in my quarters for the last twenty two years. Uh, bye. Yep. Bye. You're out. Oh, the Yorkshire guest been uh, been uh, been slaving over a hot stove, making yeah. tikka masala from scratch. He probably bought the packet and stuck it in hot water. <coughs> Jar of sauce, no bar. Just easy. Stood, just stood Boy, in the kitchen, banging minutes, a hand, dude. banging a spoon on a pot, and then again. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be ready in a minute, dear. I'm just banging this spoon. Yeah, Roy the boy says, when I left the army, I had some kit missing and they took it, took the value from my last payment. Yeah, of course yeah, they did. Just unbelievable. Shouldn't have sold it, Roy. Of course they did. Well, yeah. It's, uh, it's absolutely ridiculous. Adam, from I love returning to it. Hello, Adam. Hi, Adam. Nice to see you. How's it going? How's the move going? No, you're, Adam, it's not universal ignorance. You're absolutely right. He says, I'm hearing plenty of gratitude for the forces here. So it's not universal ignorance. It's not, but it's governmental ignorance and uh, big style. And um, there are a lot of people out there who could care less about the military. 
actually. It's, it's been too long since we had a war. And a lot of soldiers who have served, who have seen active duty, do need the support when they come out. Do indeed. Yeah. yeah. Alan Gibbs right and says, guys, once you finish with the forces, you're out your ass and fend for yourself. That's 100% correct. Yeah, they offer you a resettlement course. I, after 24 and a half years being in the army, um, and my last six months, they offered me a resettlement course. You know what they offered me? One week's training. As? Wood Turner? No. Fly Pointed. fisherman. Look at him now. Look at him now. Next question. What did you do then, Brian? Well, when, when I, when came, I, when what I came your, out. What course did you do? I didn't do a course. I went and studied oh, yeah. with a businessman for a week. Right. Okay. Did it serve any purpose? E yes. Did you gain something from it? Yeah. I did. That's, well, at least that's something. You can, you know. Toilet Glen Coves Woodgrove says, question, how many people fly their nation's flag outside their house? In this country? No. <laughs> You'd be shocked if you did that. Where I live, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she wouldn't be out next day. I know. I'm not long moved here. I don't think I'll be able to get a flagpole up. The check for the planning department. Yeah, that's another nonsense. Yeah. And I think we what Leonard says, the Boer War, Brian. Yeah. Not that old, Andy. Not as old as Andy, anyway. No, or pretty like she's not as old looking as Andy is. I'm not sure. Oh, old looking. Old looking. Looks old. <laughs> yeah, Rob says I did many years uh, as a TA soldier. Uh, I seen many regulars join the TA as they had no clue what to do when they lived with their lives, uh, and they had no support to help. No support. It's a hundred percent right. Um, Todd, uh, um, no, sorry, Brian at Greenhead Creations. So the Canadian flies proudly in front of my house. Uh, at the time I was in um, Canada, the amount of Union Jacks I seen flying outside houses mm. um, was amazing. Adam flies the Yorkshire flag in his workshop. Good man, what workshop? I thought you'd leave him. Yeah, what workshop? You haven't got one. You've got a workshop. <laughs> Douglas. Roman War. 100 Years War, wasn't it? 1436, when something it? like that? That's it. Fighting the French. Fighting <laughs> the French. <laughs> <laughs> Brian reminds me of um, the, the corporal in um, Dad's Army. What? Oh, yeah. Don't tell him you're not in Pike. <laughs> oh, that's, that was the captain. Yeah. Said that. I can't think of his name. Jones. Corporal Jones. Jones Corporal yeah. Jones. Stick it up him, the sir. Stick up. up him. They didn't like it. They didn't like it up him. <laughs> they don't like it up him, sir. They don't like it up him. <laughs> <laughs> right. So that's Yorkshire. Uh, Green, Green Haven Creation says, uh, Brian, we remember our heritage. Yep. Uh, and uh, uh, a lot of people are very, very proud of their heritage in, in Canada and show it. Yeah, unlike this country, too. The people, in, uh, the people in this country don't, Terry. Don't. It's been too long, like you say. The trouble is, if you put a British, remember. The trouble is, if you put a British flag outside your house, you'd end up having your house torched because you'd be like, "Oh, you're being racist. You're being, you yeah, know, this. It, you're yeah. being that." And this, this, people are like, "Well, it's just not worth the hassle." It's too many. Dude, that's that's the government. mindset of the whole. That's a, that's a community mindset rather than individuals. Oh no, I totally agree with you, but but, and what? but you've got yeah. the, all the you've got too many people allowing other people to get away. I mean, no disrespect, if you come to this country, you should stick by the government, the British, the British way. That's my attitude. I mean, they came to this country as a guest, then they should don't like they, it. Go back. They should they should work, or they should play with our rules. If we went to, let's say, I don't know, Saudi country. Arabia or somewhere, we'd have to abide by their rules. If not, you'd be flogged in the square. Yeah. So, Douglas Mungo wants to know if Brian was with William Wallace. Sounds no. like it, doesn't it? Sounds like he was. Right, so just buff this off. 
Give Robert Broadwood of... says that he has four houses in the village flying the Union Jack. That's not bad out of six. And, and nobody cares that they're flying the Union Jack. Nobody cares. Nobody says that they shouldn't be flying it. You know? JP dad, JP's dad has a Union Jack. Yeah, good thing. for him. I bet if I put one in front of my house, I bet within a month the council, the local council yeah. or the village council tell there. me to take it down. That is shocking. Yep. They moan about putting people putting fences up, let alone fucking Union Jacks. Right, so final coat of this. Anyway, let's get off a of pot. It's looking nice, Steve. Started a bit of a, opened a bit of a can of worms there, didn't we? Yeah, let's just yeah. Uh, get off a of politics. I think, I think we'll get off we'll, the subject. I think it's supposed to be entertaining, that. not suicidal. Yeah. <laughs> we, <laughs> at least we've had a deb- we no. At least we can say we've had a debate on it. So yes, yeah. exactly. Uh, when the Wood, our, our uh, Andy Rubel says, when flies the Druid flag." <laughs> Druid. Oh dear. Robert Broadward, having Andy. said, having said, four houses in the village fly the Union Jack. Said Emmy's in their six. He said no, only three. <laughs> only three. <laughs> <laughs> well done, well done Robert. Right. All right. Finals polish. Excellent. Next subject. Right, I've had Next my subject. whinge. I have to get off it. Your whinge, yeah. Run over with. <laughs> Bob Pease. Yeah. Bob. Right, Bob Pease from Alexandria in Virginia. Hi, right, Bob. Virginia. How you doing? A long Thanks, way for away. Thanks for coming cool. over. On the Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia. Goodbye, Bob. <laughs> Let's just put him off. <laughs> on the train, <laughs> on the Bob has a Bob has a uh, uh, has a, a video on his uh, channel. I've just looked. Bob Marley, no woman, no cry, guitar lesson. No, no what? No woman, no cry. No woman, no cry. Yeah, so. Wait, that's the next subject. Then women. No, but no, no, no. no. Guitar. We can't afford guitar. to do that. Jeez, <laughs> Save wives. No. <laughs> no, no. No. Children. No, no let's not do that no. either. It's another sore subject. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Let's talk about wood. Let's talk about wood, yeah. That's cheaper. I can't <laughs> answer back. Right, so two <laughs> coats of Hampshire Sheen. Nice shine on there now. Gloss, lovely. So let's get that flipped. Okay, Adam wants to know. Uh, easy. Easy. Uh, right about, uh, well, Adam wants to know. Next, next subject: What grease do you wax. put on the lathe bed going into storage? Machine Axe wax. Axe machine wax. Yeah, Any machine wax will do. Yeah. Well, I use axe mister, but machine wax. In fact, Adam, what you can do oh, hold on, is boys. you can spray the bed and all the other bits with duck oil. I'll tell you why? It must be quite yes, a work for a company, and we used to use That's duck true. oil. Duck oil will last 12 months. Spray it once, it will last 12 months before anything happens, before you get any rust, before you get anything. Right, you need duck to go back and look for Douglas Monk on the last cheap. comment. Yeah, right. Not cheap. Well, not I tell you what Rob Pringsborough said. Rob has a duck question. Duck oil is guaranteed for Can 12 you, months. Can you um, listen to what I'm trying to say here? No, I'm talking about them. This is a new topic. Uh, question. Can you turn soft metals like aluminium on yes. a wood turning lathe? The topic. same Next. as wood. The answer to that question is yes, Rob. You can't. Just said that. Don't let Terry rule you. Benjamin's in. Benjamin's in. Stephen is turning a nice piece of walnut tonight, people. Yes, stop by, Adam. Stephen Ben. It's a new species of walnut. Yes, Adam. Duck oil, as it is. It's amazing stuff. I used it for 35 years. It's brilliant for everything, but it also guarantees no tarnishing if you spray it on, no rusting, no nothing. So you can have an aerosol uh, Swarfiga make it uh, duck oil, 500 milliliter aerosol, seven pounds forty nine. I've still got a oh, gallon six can pounds of it now, or half a gallon left, and I've had it twenty years. Is that good? Well, a five a five liter gallon can, well, five liters is a gallon roughly. Thirty six pounds of an out. Fifty eight pounds ninety eight. Fifty eight pounds, yeah. But I bought mine when it was about twenty pounds, so you know, and I've still got. But there's half, one there. Hold a gallon on. Left. You can get it from Lawson's HIS Limited. For thirty-six pounds seventy-two, but you don't need a gallon. You just need no, a no. liter. That do you for about. Do they do it in aerosols or not? They do it in an aerosol. Oh, I just said aerosol, that. Yeah, but... Aerosol between somewhere oh. between five and or six and seven pounds ish. An aerosol would be enough to spray the lathe, wouldn't it? Oh, well, surely, it's yeah. Brilliant stuff. So there you go. It's it's all there. Just if you Google just spray it on, leave it. You'll find it. When it's you there. come to use it again after the storage, just give it a quick wipe off, and away you go. 
Susie at Swiss Food Tunnel wants to know, Wayne, did you buy spalted sycamore? I've uh, I've seen very spalted one. It looks great. Spalted sycamore. Wayne got some nice wood the other day, didn't he? Lovely. Wayne did. He's always getting nice wood. Mm, nice he got some nice planks. Benjamin saying, speaking of duck, I have a chicken chow mein. What's got to do with duck? Well, it's got feathers. Duck and chow mein. Thank you, Roy. Like my bowl. Right, that's better. All right, let's get this sanded up. Yeah, it then. wasn't. Roy was saying no sound. No sound, Steve. No sound? Oh. We're saying, oh, we've got sound. Oh. It's all going out. Nobody else has anybody else got everybody else got sound? Uh, can anybody in the chat hear us yeah. talking? Just right. It's just your headset, Roy. You need to buy a good headset, mate. Yeah, decent headset, mate. Jabra 65. That's what you get for buying that Jabra 65 for a fiver. Yeah, that's right. You'd seen you coming, mate. Now, there was a couple of questions earlier that I said that I was referred back to. Where did I see that? See, uh, Raymond Wise only uses duck oil as well. Good man. I've used it, well, for the last 35, 40 years. I just use machine wax. It does the same thing. Yeah, duck oil is better. Guaranteed. Oh. 12 months without having to respray. It is. Guaranteed on a tin. Guaranteed for 12 months. If you spray it on, you're not going to get any rust on any tool. Who cares? 12 months. Who cares? Well, duck oil does they give you money back. Give you money back for what? The duck oil or for the rust on your lid? Oh, you claim compensation, can you? Come on. Yeah, right. This day and age. Yeah. <laughs> Good man, Wayne. Looking forward to that, then. I'll have a look at that, if I'm here. I'm just wondering. Oh, uh, I may not be here tomorrow. What did Wayne say? What did Wayne say? Wayne's going to try that, what I did, tomorrow, on his live. Good man. Mm. I was going to try it today, but I got caught up cutting grass. Only thing I would say, Wayne, is make sure the tool you make is really, like, really thin. Paper thin. The rest uh, of it is uh, great. You'll do it easily. uh, <clears throat> Rob, what link do you want, buddy? It says I can post links, question mark. Yeah. I can post links. No, you can't post links, Rob. You you can, Rob, but I can't. You need what, a what spanner. Is it, what is it you want? You don't have a spanner. I'm surprised the Yorkshire Kick no, spanner. Andy, no, you earned that. Andy, duck oil is not going to work on you, buddy. No. Best thing I can suggest you is a quick squirt. Well, if you swallow body. it. Can you swallow it, Andy? You can't even do it. You can't tell people to swallow duck oil, can I? <laughs> no, I'm not. Tell Andy to ridiculous. swallow it. You're being ridiculous. <laughs> Andy, don't be, don't be swallowing duck oil. No, no, no. It won't work. It's for metal, you know? Yeah. Actually, yeah. it's great. It's also great for, for if you spray it on and wait a couple of hours. Brilliant for removing rusty nuts or bolts and things. Actually amazing. Frankenstein uses it all the time. Yeah, it's great for that. You'd be surprised what it can Actually. do. Good form, isn't it? We used to use it when I was in the garage, Duck Oil. Yeah, thanks, Rob. Um, Rob, um, um, Rob says it's it's the Doesn't magic rubbers for, for metal gear on beds, etc. I'll send you in an email. That's good. I'll stick it in yeah. the chat, Rob. That'll be grand. Let me open my emails quickly. Email. So just quickly sand this up to 400. Yeah, Wayne, what you could do is uh, stripes on the bowl. So when you do cut it and turn it, all the stripes are different. That's a good idea, actually. Super idea. I was thinking about doing that, Terry. Tough luck. Wayne's doing it tomorrow, so tough luck, mate. Damn. In there before you. Got to be in it, Brian, to win it. <laughs> I was cutting grass today. I couldn't be in it. Well, that's too, not my fault, was, is it? Uh, I was too busy. You people, you people will have 14 acres of grass to cut. too busy. Whereas my front garden and back garden is gravel. And I just spray the weeds when I want to. Lazy sod. Right, so, bit of texture. <laughs> so we're going to use in this beast. For oh, our texture. That. This is where it all comes to life, people. Watch. So, so what's Graham Hain saying? Graham Hain saying. Can we have a close-up? Can we have a close-up, Steve, of the wheel using? 
Um, that's, the big, that's the big pointed wheel, people, from the Sorby. That's about an inch diameter. Yeah, she's yeah. big. She'd be a beast. So I'm just I'm going to hold it around about Watch the 20, 25 degrees. I'm just going to roll it across there. I might have to go over it twice. Lave around about 500, 450, 500, something like that. Yeah. And we're going to start from the center because we're going to take the center out anyway, so it doesn't matter. We're just going to bring that out. Graham Hain is asking, uh, I'm doing an oak bowl with Yorkshire grit. Will Yorkshire grit restrict the oil so he in? Uh, once you've finished using your Yorkshire grit, just give it a wipe with methylated spirits and you should be good to go. Seiko Designs is in. Oh, you're not late. Just in when you're in. I ah, see. Wayne's going to use Joss on your paints. I was going, I'm thinking of doing something right. different. That's okay. Magic, Wayne. Hey, Steve. Question from me. From me. Uh, how hard did you push the, the tool? Not hard. Just you just gently, oh. bent the same pressure as what you use your gouges with. Not very, right. very hard at all. I'm just going to do one more. Yeah. Don't press too hard. You'll just get you'll create, you'll just create lots of tear out. If you press I'm too just hard. checking. I'll have a go at that. I might do that Sunday. Uh, boy, the boy says, it. Steve, if you're free over the weekend, can I give you a call? Ooh. Yes, you can, mate. That sounds that sounds like an OBS distress call. <laughs> This Saturday I'll be there. Barry Chitty's in the evening, Barry. Right, so <laughs> I'm, so I'm going to be using this nylon wheel just to clean up the the fairy bits. Why get these from you were listening. Tool station. Sorry, oh, you were listening, see. Douglas. What? I hope you were listening. I'll just ask Steve that question. As hard as you would press, I'll oh, see so you deleted the message. Okay. As yeah, hard as you go. would press a bull gouge. Right, so I'm just going to run this down my groove. Just to clean my grooves mm -hmm. out. Did you say hello to Seiko Designs? Terry? We did. You did. We were asleep. We're busy. You were I was busy. only half asleep. I was busy, busy looking for an email from Rob. It still hasn't got here. Is there a link to said. Wayne, Robert? Can you find Wayne's link, please, for tomorrow? Ryan? Wayne's link? Yeah, that? Robert wants it. Wayne's, 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 link. In, Wayne's in the chat. He can put it on himself. Oh, oh, yeah, he's got a spanner. Wayne, put your link in tomorrow, please. Robert and various others might want to go and see it. Got Wayne in the spanner. Oh, what do you mean, Wayne's... Robert? Is there a link? You should be subscribed to Wayne the Wood Turner. Uh, and get notifications, yeah. Andy, Ali, Wood Turner, Andy Rowe is in. Ali. We well, haven't put the link up yet, Robert. Right. If you type in Wayne the Wood Turner, when it comes up, hit the subscribe oh. button, hit the bell, and when he puts the link in, it'll pop up on your screen. And next, you go into YouTube. Green movie hasn't a link up yet. He said that. Just said that. You're not listening to me, Brian. No. Just read it out. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm still waiting for an email from Rob. You roll, you can't put links on this stream. You need a spanner. You can send it to me, Brian, that. and we'll put it on. It's very noisy, that. See? Is it? Yeah. Yeah, very. Oh, well. What can I say? I don't, I don't know what's going on there. It's never usually as noisy as that. Don't Keep you awake. Yeah, we've all done that. The stream? No. That's old hat. Uh, you can only put links on a stream if you have a spanner. It's the only way you can do it. So I'm just going to put a little bit of a round on here. Because, uh, oops, over here I want. Because it's a little, oh, bit, okay, no. little bit sharp. So I'm <laughs> just going to use a bowl gouge. Just to put a little tiny round on there. The only way to get a spanner... Roy, is you've got to be one of the privileged few. Basically, you got the earworm. Yeah, basically. Steve. He's got, you said, he's you said got a spanner on my channel. You said privilege. 
It's not oh, a privilege yeah. to be there, Will. Can't you? Right. Well, he says so, he can't hear you, Brian. Who well, says he can't hear me? What? What do you mean he can't hear me? Now, Robert Broward, go to that link that Wayne's just put in. Can Wayne, you hear Pete, me, Hal? Pete's got up. We can oh, hear you. Good morning, Pete. I can hear you. Yeah, we can all hear you. So. It's just Roy. He's got one of yeah, those selective Joe, hearing right. headsets. Yeah, he's, he's... So I'm just going to put some mask and tape on here because I don't really want to... Douglas wanna... Mullen. Terry, oh, last comment. What did Douglas say last? Pete. Pete. Not telling you. Douglas. And he retracted it, so he wanted to retract it. Uh, no. Question, Steve. How many times can... Steve, how many times can you go over it before it messes up? Um, now, if, you, if you kind of start in the same place hmm. and, and do it gently, the, the wheel will find the original groove and stay on it. I thought you brought me a coffee. But if, you, if, if, if you're going to take the middle out and you start in the middle, by the time you move it sort of half inch, quarter inch outwards, it will pick up the original groove and carry on. If you, but it might mess up the middle bit, but which you're going to take out anyway. Say hello. Look who's just walked in the workshop after a hard oh, yeah, day's graft. Put, put it on full. Oh, there she is. Oh, hard day's graft. Was she been out swanning it? Has she done sound ring them or something? I no, she's the been. Schools were closed. No, no, no. She's been working at the East Anglian clay ground today. Oh, she's oh. chief chef. So if they oh, get food poisoned, if she if they get food poisoned, <laughs> she's just she's just, she just left at half six this morning. She just got home. Oh. Well done, girl. All for twelve pound ninety nine. No, no, no. A minute, a minute. Yeah, coffee would be lovely. Thank you, thank you, baby. Yeah, would. Right, so I put tape on there, just so any overspray is not going to go all over our back. It's waxed anyway, so it shouldn't really stick too much to it. But I'm just going to tape my chuck as well, so it's easy to tape it as to clean it. So Rob has Easier, sent the actually. email, so we'll get it in a minute or two when it appears. So we're going to spray some ebonizer and lacquer over that. To give well, a boy was saying that he didn't hear Steve's brush. I must have just been hearing it over Skype then. You might hear it through Skype. Must have been, yeah. Because the cancellation don't go through Skype, does it? That's what it is then. Um, what am I doing? Oh, I need to sand and seal that first. See, my worms ain't keeping an army, are they? Oh, well, we're just. What? We're, what? What? You know. what? what? <laughs> Too right. busy, too busy looking at Nikki's freshness after twelve hours of work. <laughs> hey, you're not as fresh as that when you come home. No, I'm not fresh. I, I want to get up. up. <laughs> <laughs> right, ben, so ben says he, he Ben says he got a bargain today: chicken salad sandwiches in Sainsbury's were reduced by ten pence. Wow! Wow! Well, he probably bought a thousand of them. So I'm going to be spraying this with cellulose sand and sealer. Stretch mm -hmm. on. Making sure we're getting all the nooks and crannies. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's quite a nice bit of wood now, look, when you're spraying it. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. You're not bad. That's good texturing. I like that. I like that big wheel. Yeah. It's not bad. It's good. Is that your humble opinion or your? I like just it. Your, Simple, or it? just your just opinion? My opinion. No, your not your humble opinion. Of course, you not don't my do humble. humble it's my opinion. You, you don't do humble, do you? What am I, Brian? I forgot. I forgot. What am I, Brian? A pain in the. <laughs> my. Aspidistrus. <laughs> Join my channel Sunday, people. I'm going to try this. Dun dun dun. I'll find a blank big enough. I'm sure you have. Six inch one will do you, Terry. Yeah, it's probably all I've got. It takes you three hours to do anything. <laughs> it does, Brian. When I do it, I do it proper, unlike you. That's quality, yeah, not proper. quality, innit? That's it. Thank you, baby. Never mind the quantity, you feel the quality. Is that what you're telling me? Oh. Does it, question from Greenhaven Creations, Brian, so it does. does it matter that the side gets sprayed on the Sand is and the outside got wipe on. The no, sand no, doesn't really matter. 
Make no difference whatsoever. Right. Steve's only using the uh, the uh, spray on because of the texture, just so yeah, that because of the grooves. Yeah. The yeah. texture yeah. easier. The white one. If you put it on with a brush, you get in there. But yeah, that's easier to do it with a spray on. Douglas got it right. I'll let you read out, Ryan. What am I? Not reading that out. <laughs> Invincible. That's it. You got it, Steve. Hello, Wesley. Wesley Hannes just joined us. It's more, it's more like an incredible. <laughs> He's incredibly in invincible. Incredible. 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 So it's quite dry bit of wood there. You can see us really. So we're going to give it another coat. Roy says, Steve has been watching the Hampshire Sheen Academy. He has indeed. Yes, we all have, haven't you? All free. Did you say hello to Wesley? Did you say hello to Wesley Hannah there? I did. Yeah, I did say every, I said everybody say hello to Wesley. We all did. If you, you go over and do the Academy, ouch. If you go over and... Wrong button. Come on. The stream deck's decided to... If you go over and do the Academy... You'll be taught how to do pieces to end up looking like this, look. Look at that, look, mate. Not only can you see your face in it, you see somebody else's face in it as well. So it's what you, what anybody who's not been over and joined the academy, you should really go over and join it because Jerry, where Jerry. where else would you get it a free, free education course? Terry. Terry, don't don't you be going and doing it, mate. Because the last thing you want to see is yourself in the mouth. <laughs> hey. I'll have you know, lots of people like me. Well, Ruth. Ward Wilson's got to go. Bye, Bye, Ward. Bye Ward. Ward. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, that Ward. So I'm just going to give us another coat in these bits that are really dry. He says, he says before I go, everybody needs to smash that thumbs up button. You're quite right, Ward. I agree. And Douglas says he's not started yet. And that was a stunning piece, Steve. Thank you. I started what? No, oh, you start. So you can start the course. One thing I will say: don't try and go into the air there and everywhere. Just go straight into the health and safety bit. You can't once go you've anywhere done that, else. You can't go anywhere else. But you can. You can look at them. But you can't do anything with it. You can't do anything. You can't get into it. You've got to do the health and safety bit first. And that's you just leave it running and <clears throat> you know sit with your cup of coffee and wait for it to go by. Norman Greenwell's in. Oh, Norman. Just boarded the ferry to Belfast. Oh, because if you did, if you did, if you did, if you did one lesson every every day, that you'd be having done in two one weeks. weeks. One a week, do it in three months. Who cares? Yeah, yeah. Just have, have a go. So um, Norman's heading for Belfast. Good yeah. man, Norman. You picking him up from the airport, Brian? Nope. He's <laughs> on a ferry, Terry. Yeah, he's on checking? a ferry. They land at the docks. Not a... Oh right. Oh yeah, yeah. You going to meet him so you can? Show him where to go and no, I don't think so. Norman, are you going to see Brian on the way? Give his address. He can call if he wants. Bring me back some wood, Norman. <laughs> what? You you can you just be careful. <laughs> be careful there. Can you put the link in for the academy? Hampshiresheen.com Hampshiresheen.com right. I'll, I'll, I'll find it in a minute. I'm still waiting for this email to come from Rob. Whatever's going oh. on there. Rob or Roy? Ah, oh, no, uh, Colin Spencer. Colin Spencer's watching Formula One. What? Colin Spencer? Why am I watching I, Formula One? Why am I, why have we got an email from... Ah... Andy, oh, stupid well done, questions, Colin. Andy, won't be tolerated. Don't bother to write them. Um, Roy sent the email about 20 minutes ago. You should have it by now. I haven't got it. Unless it's going in my junk folder or something. Okay, can you put the link in then? For, I'm, check, uh, I'm, check, I'm checking the spam folder. Spam for not mobile finance. No, that's not. Can I put my for what night? No, yeah, will I? We're I'm just looking. I'm just looking. Yeah, yeah. I will in a month. Give me a month. Uh, 
amshasheen.com forward slash <coughs> academy. Yes, sir. Hey, wait. I'm doing it. Shut up. Told him. Ben, did you buy that piece off of Martin? Yeah, actually, I got it free with some intrinsic colours. Roy's um, the boy saying, me and my wife were talking. We've never been to Ireland, so it might be have to be done. Mm. I've been up into Ireland lots of times. I'm going to Northern Ireland this year. Might bump into somebody. Fucking, maybe I'll maybe I'll avoid that. But where is that, Steve? Better. Says Mark. Maybe you better. I may be locking again. the gates. It's a piece of sycamore. It's sycamore, Mark. Sycamore. So there you go. There's the link to the Hampshire Sheen uh, com forward slash course forward slash academy or something else. Click the link. You'll get it there. Just go on Hampshire Sheen. That's there anyway. Rob, <laughs> Rob says, if I'm in your, in your spam folder, you're coming off the Christmas card list. <laughs> <laughs> So what you need to do is when you go over to to the Hampshire Sheen website, you need to click on Academy. You need to put the Academy into your basket. doesn't cost you anything. Yeah, you're going to buy it, but it's free. And then obviously purchase it, and then you'll be sent a welcome email with a link to get into the Academy. Yeah, you, don't have to put your, you don't have to put your credit card, debit card in. Just purchase it, and it'll come up with zero. Boom, there you go. That was a piece. Oh my God. The, the, the bowl of shiny was a piece of ash. I've just got finished sanding. Ian. I've just Ian. got finished sanding the inside of it. Ian leeches in. Hi, Ian. How you doing? Right. Well, I still haven't got that email, Rob. Uh, come on, Rob. Send it again. Have you or used it, the, the enter key uh, that you forgot you, last time? Yeah. Right. Have so you sent it to the right email address. Chestnut products, ebonize and lacquer. Now we want to make sure oh. we get in this texture in. So we're going to go that way, and then we're going to go in this way. So we got on both sides of the texture. But light coats, not heavy coats. Light coats. Ian Leach, do we say hello to Ian Leach there? Well, I was away. Said, come on, searching. wake up, Brian, will you? No, I was away searching there. I wasn't listening. You're never listening. You're right. No, you don't have to sell your soul to Martin, Ben. He requests you sign up. Sign up. You sign up to his his newsletter. Yeah, you can have to that. put your email in. That's all you have to you do. Put your email in, basically, and just say you you support the academy. That's it. Da, 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 Seventy-four so. people watching. Good. For those that are late in, this piece was demonstrated by Steve at Harrogate last year. But those that didn't go to Harrogate wouldn't have seen it. So he's recreating it now for you. Mr. Bet. Missed lots of it. He's to get away. He said he's going to wait and watch it. Mr. Bet. <laughs> Don't believe him. Right, the boy says she wants to go to the Guinness Brewery and the, the jail. The jail. Well, the jail's brilliant. Guinness is not so good, but it's, a, it's nice to have a point of Guinness there. But... The, the, little, the little tour thing of the Guinness fight is not too bad. It's, it's, not, it's actually not where they brew the stuff anymore at all, but... Uh, it's nice, and they've got a lovely bar on the roof now. So you get a really good panoramic view of Dublin. But the the actual Bobman, uh, not Bobman, um, uh, Dublin Jail is amazing. Yeah, so interesting, Jules. It is interesting. I was afraid to get locked up. Go down into the tombs. Yeah, Rob says he sent it from his personal email, so let's go and have a look. Might not say Kings for then. This is Rob. Have you read all the emails, Brian? I think, I think he sent it to somebody else. Well, Mark, if you do go to Arrogate this year, we'll be there. Come and say hello. I'm going to get my... Uh... Because I'm going to get my iPad. Us, but we don't know you. Oh, yeah. Oh, got nation trees on. Brian's in near Belfast. Well, about 40 miles, 50 miles from Belfast. So, so, south of Belfast, near, near Newcastle and down Patrick. 
between Downpatrick and Roy. Newcastle. Just where I am. Roy. Thank you, Bob P, for registering. Brian El Tenero de Madeira is in. Welcome, Brian. Spain. Oh, there you Brian. go. It's, it's appeared on my iPad, but it's not come on the computer. That's weird. Well, have you got the two linked? Yeah. Oh, strange. But true. Strange, but true. But true. No, oh, you'll be fine. Now, now he's got it. Rob's fine. You'll it'll be, be on. It'll be on any second or two once I get uh, YouTube open just on a, my iPad. Just a jiffy. We need to make sure that that is really that camera looks really misty, doesn't it? It does. It? It's just how it is. I think it's got a bit of condensation on it, by any chance? No. No, no. The contrast is a bit. Uh, oh, the contrast are weird. The contrast is a bit off. Oh, the swanee lad. Be a contrast a bit steeper. No, See, there's a slight mark. Increase the contrast right. by like two points or three points. Oh, there. Hold that. Copy the link. I'm just talking my way through this, guys, because I'm not today. very good at this. Uh, there is Bornwell's just joined us. Hello, um, I don't know what I saw that. That should be awesome. Uh, YouTube. Oh, what were done there? Oh, no, yes. The camera stopped. There we go. There's a link for the YouTube thing from Rob. I know. If you want to go and have a look at that. Hmm. I don't understand why that's not coming to my main email address. Andy, or yes, uh, the coloured waxes look better on a dark background. Brian, with the wise end, Terry. I said that about 10 minutes ago. No, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. He just appeared there. I said it about 10 minutes ago. Just look up a chat. No, he didn't. Further up, look. Good no, evening, everybody. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me, yeah. Argentina. Just look back up, look. That's about five, Andy, ten minutes ago. Did, did you miss a sensible question from Andy? No, and I've answered that one as well. So, oh, Brian, promise me you'll book up. No. Have you got a 30, 40 second delay, Brian, like YouTube? What? How many? Have you got a minute's delay? Like YouTube. I like that. Like you've got a minute delay, not the YouTube. <laughs> that camera's strange. I don't know why the camera's gone like that. Anyway. No, it's a bit washy, isn't it? Mm, it's not very good, is it? It's super it's good. Let it shut down and come back on again. See if that makes any difference. See, that's a better contrast. You got No, that's rubbish. I think it's that big red cabinet thing in the way. Well, I've never normally. No, that's never normally like that. That might be because no, it's black. It's not, it's... It might be because that's black. I can't find a. Oh no, your contrast is not good. Let's see. Evening, Des. That's because it's black, isn't it? That'll be alright once we get a bit calm. That'll be alright. We did say that earlier again. I know you did, but I just said hello to Des myself. Oh, that's that okay. Way? That's fine. Yeah. Right. So it's had one coat of ebonized and lacquer, which is enough. So let's get the rainbow waxes out. Oh. Um. The dreaded rainbow waxes. You like those, don't you? Oh, I I know why it was. I know I know why I couldn't get it on my. Um, Let me just see if I can hold that. I don't like that. My email, because you use my me dot com email, Rob. That's why it didn't come. Oh, how did you get that? Where did you get that email address? I never used that one. That's a bit better. Isn't it? That's a bit better. It's not so washed out now. Right, so the rainbow waxes I have is red. Uh, what's the colour on? Vivid blue, green, and aqua blue. Curtis of Brian, because he sent them to me. I did. I so you couldn't use them, Brian. Sorry? Because you couldn't use them. That's yeah, because I didn't like using them, Terry. Oh, all right, OK. To drag it to, um, in my humble opinion, which is only humble, unlike Terry's, which is not, um, they, they, they just dry too quick. Right, to, to so able to blend them properly and stuff. So, right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bit on my glove and then we're just going to smudge it over the texture. So oh, we'll, yeah, oh, okay, Rob, I got it. We'll, we'll go with the blue first, and we don't want massive amounts, massive amount, massive amount. So we're going to spit like dry brushing it, but you're using your finger. So. Uh, so if we 
get it into perspective then, Brian, what you're saying really is you didn't work quick enough. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Cozy SK Crafts. Hello, Cozy. Who's that? Say hello. K E L 5 I E S Crafts. Welcome. Welcome. That is an absolutely a new name. I'm going to have to have a look at that channel. I'll just nip across and see who that is. So I'm, tr <gasps> I'm trying to follow the. Who that is, don't we? I'm trying to follow the the okay. swirls. Oh, we'll have to subscribe there. 352 subscribers, 42 videos. Kelsey's craft. Crafts, spell S K. Yeah, yeah. It's Kelsey's oh, yeah. K E L. Yeah. S I E S, but she's got no, a five. It's K E L five. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. Oh, yes. but, yeah, but it's Kelsey. I know. I know. It's just the five is in there. Just it's to... Vicky. It's Ian's wife. Hello, Vicky. I've just subscribed. It's Ian's wife. Ian, what's in? Yeah. Ian, what's More in? More mate. More mate. Don't lie, out, Terry. You ain't got no. Oh, I got mates. My wintering mate. What club? Got some lovely stuff in there. The purple one. All right, so that's the that's the uh, blue. It needs a water base, so you can wash them off your finger with water. And if you make a mistake, you can use water to wash them off as well. So, which is a bit better. Well, they do dry quick, so that's why Brian refuses to use them because he can't work quick enough. <laughs> Just didn't like them, Terry. Simple as that. Exactly. You can't ship like them around once you put them on, they're on. Dunk. Dry. Didn't like them, so don't use them. All right, so the next one we're going to go with is the... Gary Glasses, then. Uh, aqua Green. Evening, Gary. Hi, Gary. How you doing? Evening, Gary. Are you awake, Terry? I'm awake. I didn't say different. I didn't say it after you. I was just looking back in the chat. My mate Ian Leach, that is, by the way, his wife, Vicky. So a bit of Aqua Green. It's a nice colour. Aqua that. Green. Just, just put a link in the chat there. To her channel. Oh, well, I've got to go there then. So we want to try and overlap these a little bit, but we don't want them all exactly the same. So we're going to try and blend in different areas. Blend. Right, Vicky, another subscriber, Vicky. <sighs> Apparently, you can kind of reactivate, reactivate them a bit with water. Yeah, you can. And like silver would, Susie uh, said that silver would go well with the blue. Trouble is, Susie, I haven't got silver. Brian no. didn't buy it. No, too tight he was. He went well, buy if silver you did, gold. If, if you didn't get silver, there isn't any. Gold will go with it. Oh, well. You ain't got gold either. That doesn't matter. White would also go with it. You ain't got white either. And got, well, white acrylic paint will do. <laughs> yeah, you, haven't got a, you haven't got to use the rainbow waxes. You can use acrylic paints. Um, <clears throat> Rob says, do we need to start a GoFundMe page to get Steve some paintbrushes? <laughs> no, he likes using his fingers. No, he just likes to use his finger. He's, he likes to he, feel the paint going on. He, he thinks he's in kindergarten still. I'm like Zola Bud. I'm like Zola Bud. Zola Bud. Zola Bud. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't wear trainers. I don't wear, I don't use brushes. <laughs> Boy, Zola Bud, you're going back about now. Jeez, Wes. Well, actually, I could say you like, you like Sandy ah, Shaw. Like a good Sandy friend, Shaw. Andrew Hall, just joined us. Good Andrew. evening, Andrew. Hi, Andrew. How you doing, mate? He that says that's looking nice, rather Andrew, nice. Yeah. Terry Bartlett's in as well. Evening, Terry. Evening, Terry. So we're going to go with the hey, green next. How's the badge? How's the badge, Terry? Is it okay? It's a badge, Terry. Still shining like mine. Oh, speaking mm. of badges, Terry, I need to speak to you after this. About that. Okay. <gasps> oh, no. Right, so we just... Don't tell me you're at we Turners. <laughs> we're just going to... fail you on purpose. Just going to blend this into where we're going to... Don't want massive amount of green in there. No, green's not nice. Don't like it. Gary Glass said, that's a nice piece you posted earlier, William. It is indeed a lovely piece of yep. work. If you haven't seen William's video, I'm going to put it in the chat. Yes, thank you, Andrew. All good. Everything's good. But this is me. I went to Clumber Park today with a wife just up the road. Not far. With, with Ruth, you mean? With Ruth, yeah. yeah that's Unfortunately, she bought me lunch, Andrew. I bet that. Again. Okay. 
Right, so that's enough green, I think. I don't want too much green in it. No. No, don't hide that notification. Open that notification. That's the one. Mute that. Just down. Wash. Right, Steve, we've got a question from Mark, turned again. What's the difference be of finish between rainbow wax and acrylic paints? Um, obviously, the wax is the wax. Uh, it's more. It's a really vivid wax. As, um, the colours are very, vi really vibrant as well. Mm -hmm. uh, acrylic Roy, paints. Roy wants, acrylic paints Roy are great. Roy wants to know if you've got plum. No, I ain't got plum. Carry on, sorry. Acrylic paints are great, but they're not as... If, unless they're a good quality paint where well, they're quite thick, you might have to put several coats over to get the, the, the colour through. The, the Cause, yeah, because obviously uh, <laughs> they, they go the more you the more you spread them, the more transparent they get. These oh, are quite these are quite a thick paste as you can see. So they're really you I mean the colours are really strong, which is what we yeah. want really. So uh, <clears throat> there's another thing you can there's another thing you can use. You can use gouache paints, which are yeah. horrendously vivid. Um but they are an acrylic paint. They're called gouache because they're really, really... If yeah. you have a look at those, they're as vivid as the waxes, but they're not waxes, of course. Somewhere. I'll ask you, Andrew. You've been cycling today. But yeah, I've seen your picture, your videos of you cycling. Cool. You carry on, mate. I'll just yeah, watch and get exhausted watching you. <laughs> yeah, right. It is a wax, Rob. Yeah, this is a wax, yes. Yeah, it is a wax. So that link so just I just put in there is to William's uh, little video that he, he popped up earlier today. It's yeah, a beautiful it's a little bow with, with a nice bit of texture on it as well, I have to say. Yeah, very nice. Really well done. Go and have a look. And if you're not already subscribed to William, time you are. Why not? Yeah. I wonder how good Bailey is at cycling, Andrew. <laughs> Need four pedals. <laughs> Andrew says that red <laughs> reminds me of my bum. <laughs> yeah. He's been out cycling all day. He's been out cycling all day. Yeah. <laughs> do you do you need yeah. some do you need some pseudo cream, Andrew? <laughs> He's got a bump. He's got a bump like a raw steak. Assume the position. <laughs> Make sure you Robert put in from the... has just joined us. Make sure you put Hello, in the Robert. fridge first. Hi, Robert. All right, so I want a little bit there, really, because it's a bit dark and grim there. So let's just yeah. put a little bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so the good thing with these, you can over you can go over them. So, you know, I mean, you can sort of have one colour coming through the other colour. I don't really want to do much more than that. No, oh, that's looking good, Steve. I was don't thinking about too taking. Much. We'll all get we'll all get hypnotised. Yeah, <laughs> I was thinking about taking up cycling. But I, I just thought about it. Like, I was, I, was I, used never to I used to cycle a lot when I was a kid. Yeah, I did. No, yeah. Used to be part of the Kings Lynn Club. Thing is, that's like... <laughs> Andrew Hall says someone said which hazel works really well. Which hazel works well, yeah. <laughs> Winter green might be better. We're sitting in a bowl of ice. That might work. <laughs> that's really nice, Steve. I like it. Okay. So, yeah. So just wash my glove. They are very bright there. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. what it's meant to be, isn't it? They're very mm. vivid, isn't they? They're... See that? Yeah. The, the contrast has that come back now a little bit, isn't it? Now I've got more colour on it. Oh, More colour on the black. Yeah. yeah, your lace not bleached out now either. No, that's because that was black. That's the trouble. Hmm? So we just need to dry that off. So let's get the hot air. Uh, back Fred on. Frederick Frederick Day is asking, can you mix these waxes to produce other colours? Mm, I suppose uh, you could. I don't see why not. Yeah, don't know, I don't know how well they would mix, but I'm not sure if the waxes would inhibit the mixing of the colours. Yeah. Andrew's on a ring of ice now, he says. Uh, it's a shame for that bag of peas, Andrew. <laughs> or a fish uh, finger. No. <laughs> Steve. Well, slot what, it, what I just... it for how many seconds? What, what are you talking about? Oh, I <laughs> thought about bit the winter green, yeah. Yeah, might have get some more of these rainbow waxes, some other colors. Roy thinks it's like a Catherine wheel firework. I think you've got all the colors, Steve. I bought the whole set and gave them to you. Well, you've only got four, there's more than four. 
Well, they're only 74. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, right. I thought it's 86. No, four. I've only got four recovers. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. I thought they did other colours like silver, gold, um, white. I'll tell you in a second. I did not. Maybe I did just buy the four. Andrew says it's for sun, the peas are for Sunday dinner as well. Oh, that's all right. They'll be thawed out, won't they? Yeah, but next they thawed that will be it'll take less time to cook and be fine. Turn it down low and just rotate it. Ben Jam is naming that the Peacock Bowl. Oh, thank you, Ben. Roy wants a slow spin so he can get hypnotised. That is as slow as my life going. That's a change belt. <laughs> oh, there is. A, oh, no, that's spirit stains. Where is the rainbow axis? Where'd you get them from? Company to... Chestnut. Chestnut. Chestnut, all oh, right. Well, they'd do more than four, wouldn't they? I thought they did 10 or 12 of them. I, I know, I'm looking for them now. Right, so they we'll put a link. I'm going to put a link in if I can ever find them. That's a good thing about these. They do dry, like Brian said, they dry really quick. So, Oh, a pack of 10, Steve. Pack of 10. There you go. You bought the cheap version then, Brian. There's uh, aqua blue, bright blue, bronze, charcoal, green, ivory, lilac, pink, red, and vivid oh. blue. There you go. Just put that colour back. Peak Twisted Trees wants to know. What happens when you run it at 3,400 revs and apply heat to the wax? <laughs> I'll end well, up with a multicoloured wall. Oh, might, might have to try that, Pete. There you go. There's the link for the rainbow waxes if anybody wants to go and buy them. That's... So now we should end up with a nice neat line around the edge. I'll tell you how much the price is. That pack of 10 is £70.24. Right. So £70 seven credit seven seven thinks they do a starter pack. You might have had the starter pack, Brian. Uh, Rainbow Wax is individually at £7.80. Yeah, I, I got them right at the very beginning when they first brought them out. So it may well have been started. Andrew back. agrees. They're very vibrant. I love that. They are. They are. Right. So we're just going to take out. I'm not taking a massive amount out. I'm going to come out about an inch, maybe a little bit more. So I'm going to get a nice sharp gouge. Not that one. All right. 70 quid. Do I need to buy them now? No, I don't. That just bought them and sent them to Steve. Buy them, oh, yeah, buy them, Brian. Buy all of them. Uh, send them to me. If you're gonna buy, them, if you're gonna buy them, Brian, just have just have them shipped to me because that'd be cheaper on postage for you. Yeah, and me. That's two packs. But that was ages ago I bought them. Ship them to us. I sent them to you ages ago, Steve. Yeah, you did. That was last October time, I remember. Yeah. Was right. It? So we're gonna take this out. Try and get it in third. So third there, third there. So come out to about there so like I say about an inch somewhere so we're just gonna I'm gonna put a Ruby tram line in. In. hi Ruby I'm just gonna put a tram line in there just to evening Ruby give or me my point afternoon, on where Ruby. I'm gonna go and while I look at it maybe a bit more than that actually a bit more than that yeah another half inch what do you think yeah just a little bit about there I reckon mm. I reckon. Mm. Eight, another eighth of an inch a whole eighth yeah. No, make it 16th. Perfect. Of right. course, it will be perfect. You said where it's to go. Perfect, my real end. Hey, what am I, Brian? A pain in the reverse Hey. All right, Cozy. You're welcome, guys. Well, guys, nice to see you in. Thanks for coming over. And the horse says, Low Ruby, and congratulations on your RPT. Yep. Lionel's in. La Tele de Leo. Bonsoir, Lionel. Good Hello, Lionel. evening, Lionel. <gasps> she says, Hello, everyone. I tried to come in when it started, but it wouldn't play. Oh, oh Ruby. You have a lovely time when you're on all day next week.
Oh, it's getting dark in here. I put a light it's on. Dark here for hours. Hours. Mm. It's still quite light outside, but it's just getting dark in the house. Or a car in the house. Pitch black outside here. Emma did 50 50 on a platter. Mm. Like. I like that, but used uh, tram lines to break up the colours uh, to make it more, to make it look proportional. Portion. Well, Steve may put tram lines in after this just to make different. Right. I think just needs a wee, a wee edge on the edge, and that'll do. It's, Lionel says, Hi guys, you working on the texture challenge? Will be. It's another month ago yet, Lionel, isn't it? So, yeah, we'll, we'll be doing something. Yeah. I've already got my piece done. Ryan's already done it or ooh, ooh, nearly ooh. finished it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Come to think of that. Ooh. Shiny, Gary. Okay. Yeah, and no, I've seen that last night. Shiny. It's all shiny now. It's looking nice, it, Brian. Inside and out. It looks even better when it's finished. Oh, look. Look. I won't say no more. Yeah, but that's only the bit for. Oh, I'm oh. there. I think 360 will have a lot of people working on the uh, on the texture challenge, Lionel. Yeah, I'm working anybody on that doesn't anybody that doesn't know about 360, just type in 360.com. You can join it. Wood turning, wood turning 360. Wood turning 360. Yep. I'm doing. Oh, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, there we go, Terry. That's what it looks like now. Oh, looking lovely, Brian. I'm trying to do something different that I wouldn't normally do Happy for a change, that. rather than uh, doing the same all the time. Frederick Days wanted to know what are the benefits of being on the register of the professional turners. Well, then you'll be recognised as a professional turner. Start. Get a badge. Mm -hmm. Get to put RPT after your name. You get to. Um, Work with them, training and other things. Uh, Brian Greenhead question says, green. uh, question, question, tram lines, what are they? Things that are tram run down. Yeah. yeah look at some of the lines on the outside just to proportionate it. In fact, that's what he means. It's just a couple, of, it's basically highlight lines um, in, in a piece. Um, if you do two, it'd be, it could be called tram lines. But basically, it's just a highlight mark on your piece. All right, so I just want to do a nice... Ruby, Ruby, Claire, Ruby Claire Ruby Clair has said, Brian's mushrooms are awesome. Oh, thank you, Ruby. They are, Ruby. Did an excellent job. Oh, really? Oh, they were there, mushrooms, by the way. Whatever. Andrew always says that's really nice, Steve. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you very much. Andy says he's done a basic toadstool for hashtag week. Going to see if you can do a better one in time for next Friday. Is, is it oh, next Friday? Huh? Yeah. No. Next. Yeah, it's next Friday. Yeah. Next Friday. So I just want a continuous curve in there. So. Don't we go much more? Se Seiko Design more. says Seiko Designs has just said this is beautifully done. Thank you very much, sir. It's not, it's not a bad out tunnel, you know, really. It's quite good at <laughs> Given over 10 years, Doug I'll be good, I reckon. Yeah. Douglas, Douglas Mum says, Terry, I put useless after my name. Well, you can stop that right away, Douglas. Take it off and put, you are invincible. <laughs> and use okay. it. And just right, go with right, the flow. Douglas. Right, Douglas, I have to tell you this. None of this pessimistic uh, rubbish. There, there, there's, there's a... There's, a wise man once told me, never use your words against yourself. Never use your words against yourself. Everybody's critical of their own work. <laughs> Rob, Rob just says, hold on a minute, just just back up there. Put the brakes on. Did Terry just pay Brian a compliment <laughs> or did I miss you that? <laughs> you misheard it. It was a, a moment of weakness he had. He had a I didn't moment say of he was. I said his mushrooms are good. I didn't say he was. I'll give credit where credit's due. Brian did some lovely mushrooms. Lovely mushrooms. 
These little morels are looking lovely. It's a lovely mushroom. Back in a sack. Are you away? Terry, you Terry, Terry has left the room. Thank God for that. Right, so I'm just going to sign this up to 400 because I don't really want to be doing too much in the middle there because I don't want to ruin the follow. Oh. So, for last one, 400. Take your time, Steve. Do you notice how it's got suddenly very quiet because Terry has left the room? Has everybody, not, has everybody else noticed that? <laughs> peace. Perfect peace. And he left his headset on the desk, so he must be away to the loo. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> uh, Pete says, Terry has gone for a lie down after complimenting Brian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, more he like probably it. has. I'll let him read that out when he comes he, back. He's out, he's out there slapping himself because he can't believe he did it. <laughs> he's, Why he's, the hell did you do that? <laughs> he actually just went to the bathroom. He's now standing in front of the mirror. And giving himself a good bollocking. <laughs> <laughs> In front of all those people. What are you doing, boy? <laughs> uh, are we putting a wee highlight mark around the outside rim somewhere? No. Um, no. I, don't, I won't go doesn't, into. I won't go doesn't into. Really need it. Doesn't need it. No, I think I'll. Trouble's sure got a chance of chipping in you where you've coloured. Yeah, how that, yeah. So I'd rather not. Douglas says, I thought I'd gone deaf. Because <laughs> it's so peaceful in here. So I'm just gonna let that and, draw and, Andrew Hall says, you're doing a good job with the commentary, Brian. Thank you, <laughs> Andrew. I can't wait for Terry to come back and read these comments. <laughs> All right, Ruth, uh, how are you doing? Uh, Ruth, then? Yeah. Hello, Ruth. Ruth's been in from the beginning, I know, right? Oh, she'd gone out to start with. Oh, Brian Greenhead's creation says, first craft sale of the season for me tomorrow. Oh, nice. All stocked up and ready to go. Well, the very best of luck to you, Brian. I hope you come home with an empty table. Having sold everything. Yeah, Roy the boy says he's probably head-banging the mother. Yeah, probably. Uh, Rob says, please, Steve, make that the, I don't know what that means, S-H-O-E-R-T. I think you've spelled that wrong, Rob. Sure. Uh, so <laughs> make that a short so we can keep watching it. Oh, so you should actually. You should t take a little video of that on your iPhone, Steve, and do it in slow motion. What, where it's spinning or just? Yeah, when it's spinning, yeah. Do it in slow-mo. It'll be cool. All right, so let's just sure. deal with this. You could, you, if you could get a little lathe that goes nice and slow, just stick that on, leave your camera on it, and just leave it on all day. You would get thousands of views. <laughs> well, put I'm going some, out uh, tomorrow. I'll just leave it going. I'll just leave it on a live yeah. stream all day. <laughs> put some ASMR music on it and put that in the title, ASMR, and people will watch it all day. Right, so I'm not going to grit that. I'm just going to wax that. Because I don't want to get grit all over my... No, Andy, free? you can work away. Terry's back, by the way. I'm back, by the way. So, unfortunately, Brian would tell on you anyway if you said anything about me. Well, now you come to mention Su Terry. <laughs> Susie, has <laughs> Susie has got a stall tomorrow as well. Well, it's it's tomorrow, in, a, in an Easter market tomorrow up in a mountain village. And the weather forecast says it's going to be minus one degree in the morning. Wow. Wear some thick clothing. Brrr. That's right, she'll have plenty of wood to burn to keep warm. You'll not be going on the bike then, Susie. 
And Ruby's asking a Ruby question. Claire's asked, "Would you be would you be uh, sealing the coloured section?" Uh, I might give yeah. it a just a, a light coat okay. of lacquer just to seal the colours in. Can't seal with anything else. I don't like it really. But there'll be a there'll be a, a, an acrylic lacquer, I would imagine, go over yeah. the top of it. Hodgepodge Ridge Works got uh, Robert's got a art market. As well Ooh. in downtown Houston. Everybody's doing them tomorrow. Ah, yeah. good luck with the sales, both of you. Indeed. All goes well. Susie's going to wear ski clothing, she says. <sighs> Warm. The good thing about uh, people in Switzerland and places like that, uh, they're prepared. Same in Canada. If you live in the, the bits of Canada, they get cold. That's everywhere, I think, isn't it? Um, you can't unlike, prepare for it. Unlike, unlike, here, unlike here, when people go out cycling, they wear clothes that are not uh, mm. accustomed to the saddle when they get... Sand, sandpaper <laughs> the ass. But sand, the no sandpaper the ass. I'll point you whistle, Andrew. <laughs> Andrew says satin or gloss. Santa Claus. <laughs> he means the lacquer. Santa Claus. The... <laughs> <laughs> I hope he means the lacquer. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Right, I've got some acrylic gloss lacquer here. Just put a little bit of acrylic over the top of it, I think. Rob's got to go. He said, sadly, oh, I have to go. Rob. He said uh, uh, he's got to take over from his daughter at the hospital. Oh, hi, Rob, thanks for coming Ten. over. Thank Thank you, Rob. Rob. Thanks for Talk coming. Talk to you later, buddy. Appreciate it, mate. And don't forget that link Rob put in the chat earlier, or that I put in on his behalf. Go and have a look at that, guys. Uh, that was my sheet. Roy, the boy says, question, Brian. I thought you was going to read the comments for Terry. No, Terry is perfectly capable of reading. Well, he can read. I know sometimes he has difficulty, but he can read. Usual by Braille, because I'm nearly blind, so... <laughs> You have to go back in the chat, Terry, and look at the lovely comments when you were away. Lovely comments. I bet they were all derogatory, weren't they? Let's no, they were not. I'll no. scroll back a bit. Terry, how could anybody be derogatory to somebody who's invincible? I mean, nobody. <laughs> they can't, can they? <laughs> well, I'll start from there as I look down. I'm not going to read that out from Rob. Something, something. old oh, I old Terry, See? right? Mm -hmm. Let's focus that in. Well, they're all saying old oh, Ruth. No, she's Russo. Oh, I can't see any bad comments about me. And there, there was no bad comments there. That's it. I did wash my hands, Ben. Always wash my hands. All right, so let's just give us a light dusting of... There was, just a, there was a whole lot of people commenting how nice and peaceful and quiet it was when you were missing. That's all. I mean. That's right. They just That's fine. At least, isn't, at least they know they're not asleep. Who's not asleep? I think you had a little snap when you were out there. there. I wouldn't. <sighs> that light blue is almost silver looking on the screen. Yeah, it's very pale. Hmm. Just let it run. So we just dry that off. That's all it's going to get just to seal the colours. Because this has been waxed, we'll be able to just buff that off once that's yeah. dry. She loves me, Douglas. That's how she copes. Andrew Hall says, hey, got, got hey. to say the crack is good, mate. The crack, <laughs> crack is, <laughs> the crack is good. <clears throat> what are we talking about now, Andrew? Yeah, it's that's the wrong like spelling. For, that's the wrong spelling for the for the crack, as they say in Ireland. Yeah, cycling. Is he talking about? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure which crack you were talking about there, Andrew. <laughs> so crack is spelled C R A I C. Crack. Green Haven Craigs is the same question: Is the, will the lacquer affect the waxes underneath? Shouldn't, shouldn't do. do. It shouldn't do. The only time that affects it is if you try and polish it and you. You loosen the wax up underneath it. But if you're not going to polish it, it shouldn't be a problem. 
and Lisa ah, is good looking. Grandma Ruth, you've just said, Douglas, I, a lot of patience and tolerance plus selective deafness. Yeah, I'll ah, not ah, read that out. That woman. speaks volumes, Terry. That just speaks volumes. your mouth, woman. Just sit, sit in and watch the television. Oh, it's not She's nice worried. talking to Ruth like that. Uh, uh, Andy says, Brian, just you wait until you're as old as Terry. <laughs> hey, that's yeah. only about six months. Uh, that's not going to last. Uh, I know he looks a lot older, but you know. It's the older. conversation yeah. on his bottom. Terry, I know. <laughs> conversation on his bottom. That was just a jest, Andrew. It's the crack. I shall ask. Yeah, yeah, I shall yeah, ask yeah. Ruth Andrew. She's a, she's a nurse. Been a nurse for forty nine years. She'll tell me what you can rub on it. Surgery cream. You be good. Now that dries out. Too hard. It doesn't. Not in that crevice. It won't. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> <laughs> duck, <laughs> duck oil will be good. Oil. Duck oil. <laughs> duck oil will be good. Duck oil for everything. Duck oil. That'll stop any friction next time. Yeah. <laughs> apparently, duck, apparently, duck oil is the bee's knees. It's the business. It does everything. It is. Just, it is. All yeah, singing, to, all dancing. Yeah, you is that, um, Andrew, you won't be able to sit on the seat because you just keep sliding off of it. <laughs> apparently, the only thing that duck oil doesn't do is Sunday night at the London Palladium. <laughs> Don't do that. Right, so let's just buff this middle bit out again. So we just need a little bit of wax. We might have enough wax in here to do that. <laughs> Robert, Robert says, your Sir Greg could provide a bit of lubrication. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Maybe a bit abrasive, though. Make sure you use super fine. Fine, might polish it up, but, you know, super fine, yeah. <laughs> Turn the extractor off now. Don't want that on, do we? So we just... Uh... <sighs> Redo that in the middle. Well, there, the well this this is this is going on a bit. I'll have to have another. I'll maybe have to top up my uh, beverage. Another doom bark? Are oh, you worried me, Brian? No, it's five. not another one. I'm just finishing the, the one it's I had. Five there, in the, in, so that's only... five. Just that's having the one cool. he had left over from his dinner. That's only my second one. From my dinner. He's a toad, isn't he? He's a tool rag. What's he saying? His edge. You sleep. Most of the day, so people only have to put up with you for a few hours. <laughs> this, is, this is absolutely true, Ben. Uh, he was supposed to be in my live uh, yesterday. Yesterday? Yes, yesterday. I was, I was and, busy and, yesterday, so I was late. And Ruth, uh, Ruth said, I have a sleeping hobbit, but I'll wake him up in time to get into your uh, live. Right. <laughs> Barry's recreation has just joined us. Evening, Barry. Hello, oh, Barry. How you doing? Evening, Barry. He's blaming Brian the grandkids. Kids. Yeah, well. Family's more important than YouTube. Definitely. Yeah, of course it is, don't we, please? Steve ain't done anything anyway. He just put a bowl up that he produced earlier and waxed it. Waxed on, waxed off. Uh, that's true. Waxed off. He just threw some uh, rainbow waxes at a bowl. Just chuck some. Andrew, Andrew, Luke, serious, Luke, serious, serious it question. Spinning, uh, serious comment. Andrew's just <laughs> said he's bought a new saddle from Amazon and it's designed for senior posteriors. <laughs> If I was you, I'd go steal one off an horse, Andrew. That might work better. <laughs> I've got a couple of saddles up here, Andrew. You could have if you want. <laughs> nice, have a nice dressage one. You could. <laughs> Perhaps you should sit Bailey on the on 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 the saddle, yeah. and you sit on him. <laughs> <laughs> For goodness' sake! For a senior posterior, you mean an old ass? <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Hall, I can't believe you said something. Like that. It's a long spring bound saddle. Yeah. Now we know what he said when you got a spring in his step. <laughs> New saddle? <laughs> New saddle? <laughs> right, that'll do, I think. Ah, oh, dear. Robert Broward says, put vinegar on it, you'll never go near a bike again. <laughs> Ooh, that's a bit wicked, isn't it? What? <laughs> yeah, it's just... <laughs> that brings tears to your eyes. Right. Douglas Miller's in. Hello, Douglas. Hi, Douglas. Doug, Doug Miller's Even in. Doug. Hi, Doug. The old wood spun round. Right, so that's it. That's as far as we're going to go. Got all the middle polish up. Slight coat of uh, acrylic lacquer over that just to give that a little bit of a sheen, just to protect the waxes. Nice. And polished on the back. So let's get it out. Oops. So let's put it on that yeah, camera. Yeah, quite, quite impressed with that. So, where's the camera? Here it is. 
Look at that, it's looking lovely. So there you go. I may, have to, I may have to buy some of those dopey bikes. I'll send yeah, these ones back to you. That's your recipe for the day. So, okay. like I said, I um, I demonstrated this first time I did this was at Harrogate. Um, and oh, the piece Taylor's I did, weren't, they weren't as big, yeah, on Taylor's Murfield stand. wasn't as big as this, but similar sort of principle. And I just did a normal curved bowl. I didn't do a fancy shape, but but no, it's a nice, nice bit of wood, actually. Very nice. Yeah, it turned out really nice, though, Steve. So, I don't know if it'd be better it's, on it. Better colours on this camera. This camera's a bit better colour. Re recent. Oh, oh look yeah. at that. Look at that. Super. Oh, nice. Super job. Brilliant. That's Bruce better. says deep heat that comes to mind. Oh, no. Ooh, that'd sting. Oh, poor Audrey. So, yeah, very oh, vibrant oh, colours. Those those rainbow waxes are very vibrant, as you can see. Nice colours. I might I might invest in the other. Pity Brian didn't know how to use them, send them to you. <laughs> well, no, it's not a pity Brian sent them to me. That's good that Brian sent them to me. It's a pity that he couldn't use them because, you know. He's going to order some more anyway now. That's so, like I said. That's what you get for doing something good, Tom. Abuse. That's what you get. Yeah. Abuse. Abuse. So you don't have to use that texture at all. You could use uh, uh, anything, anything really. You could use a Dremel. You can use a flap tool, carving. Yeah, yeah, carving chisel. Anything really. You could use a skew. Just make it. You know, just go in and deliberately get a catch and watch it spiral across. It could look nice. Don't be don't be tempting people to use a skew on a ball now. Daddy. That's just that's just not very good advice at all. You'd get the texture because it wouldn't work. So. Yeah, you might get hurt Hi, as Lucy well, so. Bundy Row. Lucy, oh, you Lucy. might get hurt as well. That's not a good idea. Let's let's not be teaching people how to use a skew on a ball. Thank you, Lucy. Not good idea. So anyway, don't use a skew. That's a joke. <laughs> Andy says, Steve, it's amazing what you can produce when you pretend the earworms aren't there. Aren't there. <laughs> hey. Oh, Lovely Andrew job, Hall Steve, says, one of the year's job. auctions. Yep. One's for this year's auction, says Andrew. Well, that might be. Yeah. That's a good idea. We haven't we decided yet what we're going to. No, we need to decide what we're going to. Gonna, um, we, yeah, we need well, to have a chat about that. I was thinking of something. You could always send that one in for the uh, for the emerging the emerging turners. Yeah, I don't mind. Because if, if that helps. Might get a couple of quid for it. Might get a tenner for it. Yep. Yeah, get a tenner easy. At least. What safety glasses, Steve? Are you got? Says Benjamin. Um, they're from a company called, let me think, safetyspec.co.uk. Yes. Prescription. Prescription yeah. ones, yeah. Yeah, the prescription ones, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll stick the link in the chat. Expensive either. 90 quid delivered to the door. So I will I find the link. I thought that was very good. Uh, yeah, he can through his glasses. Yeah, I can What's see there, now. Um, That's why things looking good, because I can see what I'm doing. I can see, yeah. I must ask my optician for my prescription. They should give it to you. They should give it to you. Uh, she doesn't know. She doesn't normally give it. He should do. Andrew's going to put a piece of work in as well to the auction. See, I'll do a bit as well. Oh, thank, you, yeah, Andrew. Good, thank you very much. Good man, Andrew. I should do Excellent. some as well. So this is the company I got my safety glasses from. They say they take three to four weeks. They came in just under two. Um, you just fill in the information. They do do verifocals as well. So um, I, I was going to get a pair from my... Oh. Optician spec savers, and they wanted nearly three hundred pounds for a pair. So yeah. uh, I decided to go online and try them. At the end of the day, if you don't like them, you send them back, don't you? And for ninety quid. And to be honest, they are really, really, really good. I, I upgraded the lenses to high impact because you get they do two different uh, impact resistant on the lenses. So I think that was an extra tenner to upgrade to the higher impact. And to be honest. With what we do, I think that's worth it. The only thing I've got against them is because they're filled in. Obviously, your normal glasses are quite open. They make you sweat, not sweat, but you get really warm around the eyes. But it's that's what well, that's the got, that's a couple of little holes in the same bit. Yeah, good well, there, I suppose. Yeah, they still let dust in them, wouldn't it? Yeah, but yeah. They're, they're good. Don't get me wrong; they, they are really lightweight plastic, so really, really good for 90, 90 quid. I'm thinking about ordering a second pair, to be honest. So Matthew got, Lawrence has joined us. He's a bit late. Yeah, Hi, Matthew. Matthew. And I can see Even the chat as well. Right, but we're just finished. Doug Miller says he'll give you thirty-five pound for the bull. Mm. You do thirty-five pound right now for this bull. Yours. Nope. Make it fifty-five. You can have it. No. Well, we're not auctioning it. We're not auction. auctioning it yet. We're not auctioning no, we'll auction it. Yet. it. We'll auction it later. The other auction is not till October. 
I don't normally sell my demo pieces, to be honest. Hi, Matthew. How you Andy, doing? Woodwork Learner says, what's the minimum you should charge for a small practice bowl? As you... Andy, don't charge anything. Don't sell it. Do a proper bowl and sell it for proper price. Yeah. Correct. Don't don't un- undercut yourself, mate. Practice bowls go in the bin. Every way to friends. Every proper piece. Bowl, sell it for proper price. Every piece you finish should be finished to a saleable quality. Um, admittedly, some of the pieces I turn on the channel, the wood's not as best because it's a, it's a, a YouTube demo, and these guys do the same. Most of the time, you use yep. rubbish wood because you're just doing a demonstration on YouTube. If I'm creating a piece in the workshop for my own entertainment or I'm doing a video, then I will finish it to a saleable quality, which is what you should be doing. Every piece you create, it should be sellable. Um, You should should not have the excuse that, oh, I didn't get time to sand it. If if you're creating a wood turning should be enjoyable. So spend the time. If it takes you three hours to sand it to it's perfect, that's how long it takes you. Exactly. You shouldn't be rushing it. You should be enjoying don't, it. Don't, yeah, don't be fooled by YouTube that it takes 10 minutes no, to sand no. something. Now, that, is, that that bowl has come out at a finish. You mean, I'll be quite happily, that's finished in my eyes. It's perfectly yeah. smooth on the yeah. outside. It's got a nice sheen to it. Okay, yes, it should have been a tenon on the back there, but it is what it is. But that, to me, is finished. So, Andrew Hall has just put a comment and it says, definitely an auction yep. bowl. Steve, it's spot on RPT quality. I agree. Oh, thank you very much, Andrew. Thank you very much for the comment. Yep, definitely. Very much. Oh, I've, I'm, thank you, Andrew. I'm overwhelmed with them comments, that comment. Yep, that's good. And Steve, thank uh, you, Andrew. Roy, is, Roy is asking, how did you know your prescription? Roy, if you get your eyes tested, they have to give you your prescription. Yeah, what they yep. should do is when you have your eyes tested, they should give you, obviously, the bill and also your prescription. It yes. tells you at the top of what, if you're very focal, what your very focal is, your short vision, your long vision, that should be all on the top there. And yes. basically, you're just copying over what's on that prescription over to the website. If you go to the website, you just put in what the same things that are on the website as what's on your prescription. You just copy them over. Uh, easy. Uh, Andy um, Bundy Raw, uh, if you just yeah. go up to SK Craft at the top, look, uh, safetyspecs.co.uk. These are the maker. Here's these the are, oh, I don't know what the maker is. I can't see without can't my glasses see on. <laughs> can't see without my glasses <laughs> on. <laughs> but they are, they're, they're, they're just, um, they do several different, don't, what I would advise is don't go for the wraparound because they can make, I bought some wraparound ones from Amazon with my prescription but what they do is they create, they make the piece look oval. They don't, yeah, um, because they're wrapped around and the whole lens is wrapped. They're perfectly all right if you're doing close work, which is what I keep them for. But what they do is they're only focused in this area here. And what it does, it makes the piece. I put them on and tried to turn a piece and I kept getting the gouge in the wrong place. And when I realized what it was, they was making the bowl look oval. Yep. So don't go for wraparounds. And it does state on the website, um, that they will wrap arounds will make them oval. So you want to go for a flat lens. So this is the best one I could find because I do like quite a a wide frame. So um, yeah, so just have a look. There's hundreds of them on there. Just pick which ones you want, and they all start from about fifty quid upwards. So they're not oh. expensive. <laughs> Douglas is saying it takes him three weeks to do a ball. That's okay, Doesn't Douglas. Matter, Douglas. Doesn't matter, Douglas. Douglas. Finished correctly. As long as you're having fun doing it, that's the thing. You're enjoying it, yeah, that's it. As long as you enjoy it. That's what it's all about. Right, so if you're not a professional wood turner and you're not doing it to make money, it's a hobby. It's supposed to be fun. Exactly. Enjoy yourself. This enjoy piece every cut. This piece I showed you earlier, I've spent two days just lacquering it and polishing it. Yep. That's what I do as well. It's crazy. So, you are. So that's still got to be that's turned out, but it's still got to be finished sanders on the inside, and then it's got to be sealed and done whatever, and then it's got to have the tenon turned off. So um, yeah, so that'll be another day, couple of days on that really. So you're talking a week's work on that. So you're perhaps looking at about 25, 30 hours on that one bomb. Yep. But when you get a finish like that, what so do you don't expect? start selling them for a tenner. Yeah. Yeah. For price. So. I'm actually going to a seminar about pricing of of uh, artistic work. Coming up shortly on the 12th. Hmm. You should. So I'll let you know what it comes. Let you know, I'll let you know the outcome. Like we always say, it's, it's, it's an enjoyable hobby. So, Right, so we'll be back on this Sunday, finishing this. Yeah. Cool. Hey. So all the bottom's finished, so we've just got to take the top out. 
Uh, hopefully we're going to finish, but we'll see what happens. But like I say, it's all polished up, ready to rock and roll. Yep. Wesley says he's uh, he's. I'm a week and a half into lacquering and finishing a piece. Yeah, Take your time. There is no rush. Three yep. coats. If you're doing if you're doing uh, multiple coats, you need to do a maximum of three, and then leave it to cure for at least twenty four hours. That's what I think. I totally agree with you. Doug Miller's got a premiere tomorrow, nine o'clock a.m. Eastern Good time, man, two o'clock British time, two Look o'clock British time. That. Well done, Doug. I have a premiere tomorrow, nine a.m. Is that that's that's two p.m. British time? time. That's easy. Yeah, two p.m. British time. Lucy uh, says it. It Doug. takes me ages to do things too. That's why I never get a hashtag week item done. <laughs> Oh, well. You got an easy one this time. You got an easy one yeah, this month, Lucy. Mushroom. mushroom. Two mushroom. weeks to do a mushroom. Mine's split all Lucy, open. I think I might do, do another tell one. Tell Andrew to look after the kids. Andy can look after the kids, and you can do the mushroom. Now that's what you call a crack. Out. Look at that. Yeah, that's a crack. And that. Ooh, that's a crack. That's right. So I might have to tell another one. That's yeah, trouble. Andrew, Andrew Hall's agreeing with us that it should be it should be fun, and he says that's exactly what it's about. And sadly, sometimes we forget that. Yeah, we, yeah we do, Andre. Yeah, and this is the trouble. What this says is adorable. Love it. Love it. Thank you. She Thank said you that much. bowl is a beautiful. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you. Um, the trouble is, YouTube doesn't do the the craft any favors because or the hobby any favors because people see us turning out a bowl in an hour, hour and a half, and on the camera it looks amazing, but we all know that you can't turn a bowl properly in that sort of time. No, you can't. I don't care who you are. Finish it off. You can turn yeah. it, but it's just not finished, probably. Yeah. yeah. Wesley, what what I do when I do mine, every three coats, I then cut back a little bit. So yep. then, so okay. then that, so then that gets gradually gets rid of the the massive amount of unsmoothness you get on the final cup. So your final couple of coats should be just perfectly smooth, wet coats. Um, so three coats, leave twenty four hours, knock it back with a four hundred or six hundred grit. Abronet or wet and dry, whatever you want to use. Um, then dry it nice and clean. Make sure there's no dust on it. Then put another three coats on it. And when you're spraying it, make sure you go that way one coat and then that way another coat. So if your bowl rotation is like that, you want to do one coat that way, all the way around. And then yeah, on, the, on the next coat, do that way. Because if not, you'll end up yeah. with battle lines in it. So do that way the next way. And then and obviously yeah. carry on that sequence until... You've done your, your maximum coach you need to do. Yeah. Andrew Hall's got to go. I re- Have a lovely I re- great weekend. It. Thank you, Andrew. Yeah. Thank Thank you, Andrew. Lovely Thanks. evening. Um, I normally do sort of nine coats. It's about maximum for me. Yeah, well, I don't know how many coats I put on that. I just use the whole can. Hmm. So 500, mil- 500 gram can. I don't know. I don't know. I think I put, that would have been anywhere between eight and ten coats, I would imagine. But I want because that was ash. The ash grain was quite low, so I wanted the flood fill there, so it was just <laughs> totally smooth. Where's the Hannah says yes. Sanding after forty eight hours, I actually read the instructions on the can. <laughs> Yay! Right Arty, Arty, he yeah, read the on, manual. Really. Yay! Well done, read the manual. That's one thing I like about Martin's um, lacquer. You can sand yeah. that after about forty minutes, forty five minutes, as long as you don't put it on. As long as you put light coats on. But I, no, still... I like to let it cure. I don't yeah. care how. You know, it's best to cure it, I think. Just put it, just if you're working on two or three pieces, just do one piece, set, and set it, and, uh, and leave for a day or two, and then go back to it. That's what I do. Yeah. Douglas is saying, like, the turn of boat is good, Steve, Brian, and Terry. The boat would take me 18 no, months. Well, no. so be it. No, I don't believe Don't matter. It. Don't matter, mate. Don't, don't believe yeah. that, Douglas, but yeah, I know what you mean. But GLS just enjoy the works. process. The it's trick is to enjoy the process. Boat. It's Sycamore. Evening TLF. So it doesn't matter how long it takes. It's all experience, isn't it? The more time you get on the tools, the better you'll be. I come in here some nights and just, just do beads and coves. Just that's all I'll do. Take your time. That's the I do it all. Just practice with the tools. Just take a piece of scrap wood and, and just turn it into shavings. If you're using a bow gouge off. and it's not cutting right, just turn your wrist slightly because it Ooh. might be you've got the angle slightly wrong. Or sharpen it. If not, sharpen <laughs> it. You know, and it just you. As soon find as the sweet spot, the way you go. 
I had this conversation with a gentleman last Friday when I was at a demonstration. He was saying to me, how do you get your bowl gals just to do such a nice follow through round? I said, sharp. I mean, yep. if, if the tool's sharp, you shouldn't, the, the tool should find its own. All you're doing is guiding it, aren't you? You're not doing anything other than guiding it. If you're, so, yeah, if you're forcing your tool, you're, you shouldn't be forcing your tool at all. If you find yourself forcing the tool, it's either blunt or, or you, right you, 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 you're presenting it incorrectly. Yeah, too low, too high. Yeah, I flew open too so much. So you just have to kind of try and find that sweet spot, and, and it should just glide across the bowl, basically. And remember, when you do inside of a bowl, you want to be doing that sort of movement. Not, and that's yeah, a bit exag- it. it's a bit oh. exaggerated, but you just gently go uphill, and then <laughs> as you come in towards the centre, you're then bringing it back down, okay, to, again, yeah. and then just rolling the flute slightly open to take the core out of the middle. And the reason you're going slightly uphill is because the bull guy's got two bevels. So you're already on one going around. If you lift it up, you'll be on the other bevel then, on the cut. You can rotate the bevel, yeah. Better cut. TF, TLF, this is what we turn tonight. That's what I've we got, turn tonight. I've got some uh, little videos coming out shortly. I don't know if you can see that, can you? It's too shiny, really. There I'll you go. explain all that. That's lovely, lovely, that's Steve. That's Great, mate. It's a beautiful bull, yep. Yeah. So, anyway, that's what we've done. Thank you very much, everybody, for coming over. Um, I will be back Sunday evening. Uh, Wayne is on tomorrow evening, I believe. No, I won't be on Sunday. I'll be on Sunday lunchtime where we're going to finish this bad boy. Yeah, you will. So, I'll be on Sunday lunchtime. Terry's um, – no, not Terry. Wayne Wayne's is on, on Saturday. Wayne's Wayne, on tomorrow Wayne's night. on Saturday, yep. Um, are you live on Terry's, Monday? Terry's you, on Sunday. Are you – yeah? And are you live Monday? I intend to be. Okay, so so it's me on Sunday, seven o'clock in the evening, and me on and Monday. And Brian and me on Monday. Seven in the That's another Ooh. thing, Robert. Yeah, don't hold your tools too tight. The death grip. If you want to come over and see any of us, you tune in. Next. If not, well, why not? Thank you, right? So, like you said, if you want to, you can always go back and rewatch from the start because it's on YouTube and you can watch it as many times as you like. If you want to hear our drone no, voices, thumbs up so once. Just before we go there, once, just, just before we go there, um, um, Douglas put he says you can only stand at the lathe for ten minutes at a time, and Andy has put Douglas get yourself a high stool, and do most of it from a seated position. That's that's a hundred percent correct. Good, yeah, and that's yeah, and yeah, exactly. if you if you've got a little high stool and if it swivels a little bit, that's even better because you can still do the the body movement with your with your chair. And you ain't got to be fully sat on the chair, you can just perch on it. Correct. So like the high bar stool is, an, is the ideal sort of thing. You just get your bum on it and keep your feet on the floor yep. and just kind of swivel. You can swivel with it. There's lots of opportunities there to uh, make it easier on yourself. Yeah, definitely. Andy is saying, uh, am I not on holiday? I am on holiday, actually. Not that next week, but the week after. However... I've curtailed my holiday. We're starting a day late our holiday so that I can be on Sunday night. How about that? That's what oh, I think of you lot. Oh, stop it, you break my chat. heart. <laughs> Bruce, just, Bruce, we're going just, from Saturday to Saturday. So no, we're not. We're going from Monday to Saturday. Monday that's to just, Monday. That's my, just because you changed from Monday. My fans just need look. me. My fans need me. My fans need me. Because <laughs> I am. What, Bright? What am I? I don't know why. <laughs> Brian gave you that caption, and now he's taking it away from you. He did not. He did not give me. I did not. I made him up myself. He didn't give me. I made him. He is invincible. Made it up myself. Nice to meet you all. Thank you for having me. See you next time. Oh, welcome over. I hope you've you've enjoyed what you've seen. Kelsey. Hopefully we'll see you again. Yeah, hope so, Kelsey. All right, shall we go then? Yep. Yep. Let's go. Should we go? Should we go? Oh, I don't know. Where we go? I could bring. I, you, I could bring you guys back in for a little bit. Bring us back we'll, in. We'll, we'll, ugly we'll faces go? we are. Yeah, we could go. say hi. Here's, t- sure. Here's Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Tweedledum. That's, I'm Tweedledee. He's Tweedledum. <laughs> I'm Tweedledee. I'm not. I'm dumb, but not Tweedledee. Yeah, we, we know Tweedledum. <laughs> Tweedledum. Tweedledum. Right. So. <laughs> right. Stadler, so. Thank you. Waldorf. <laughs> yeah. Stadler Waldorf. Thank you, everybody. Right. So, thank you very Hope much, you everybody, for coming over, over and joining us. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then, you know, please yeah. smash that like and share button. Yeah. Um, if you're new thumbs over, thumbs up. I hope you've enjoyed what you see, and hopefully, we'll see you again. So, other than that, uh, have a great rest of your weekend. Don't forget, Wayne's on tomorrow night. I will be back Sunday lunchtime. Terry's on Sunday night, and hopefully, well, Brian will be on Monday night. So, anyway, guys. <laughs> I'll see you, Monday, bro. You. <laughs>
the gruesome twosome she just called That's us there. Oh, yeah. Brian's more. I'm the twosome. He's the, he's the gruesome. Oi, oi, hey, <laughs> enough already. Right, have a great rest of your bank holiday weekend. I will see you Sunday. Thanks for coming over. Take care. Goodbye and good night. Bye, everybody. See you guys. And Thanks for coming over. Duck. Ten for the rubber duck. That's all, folks.